Buenos dias. Good morning, Mr. Reaper. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everybody. Hey. Well, hi there. Good morning. It's June 22nd, 2024. Welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Dangerous heat wave. Nearly a third of all Americans are under heat alerts this weekend as scorching temperatures bake the nation. We'll have the latest on the records being set and when it may all finally break. Supreme Court gun ruling. In a key Second Amendment decision, the justices uphold a federal ban taking guns away from people under domestic violence restraining orders. We'll get reaction and explanation from the sole justice who disagree. Capital riot costs. More than three years later, a review by CBS News finds it's taxpayers who are footing most of the bill for the damage caused in the January 6th attack. See why the Justice Department is struggling to get restitution from those convicted. And one concrete idea. Could spreading concrete dust on the nation's farmland help cut carbon emissions. We'll take you inside an unusual experiment. They may also help improve our soil and crops. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah, sure. That's right, Billy. Yeah. See, he saw the picture of you on the computer and that you would go when you were playing basketball. And, and who else in the world does that? Her name is Mr. Big Baby Taco Term. I want it. But she likes me best. Besides, I already got teeth. Uh, Go downstairs. But I must finish my juice box. <sighs> Gracias. Hmm. Nice. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. I think I will call you Juan and you Juanita. Yeah, I, I, I really um thought that the finale was awesome. No, I got everything I needed after that hug. Way to go, Eduardo! You captured the cannibal ghost! And it was the most delicious badger ever. That was amazing! Good job, Agents Puppy and Caswell! You've done tough proud! All right, I suppose I could help fix the place up a little. This is nice! Everyone's being super helpful today. My name isn't really Francisco, it's Francesca. My mom wanted a girl. I found some moves! My thirst isn't on the loose anymore. I just want to thank you all for your help. Mount Bear River is flowing again. The other storm drains are painted too. And the whole Mount Bear watershed too. I was just going to say that. Yes, I saved the forest. You're our hero. I am feeling like me again. Exactly. Yes, more than anything. Yes, sirree, bud. This is the life. You kings and queens of Woodland Valley. Because today is going to be great. It's going to be so great. I can just imagine it now. Because today is going to be a very special day today on Sesame Street. Oh, Nazi, I am so excited. I just know that this time I am going to get Count Storm. I think I just found what I was looking for. Try taking a dip in Big Springs, little bee. I'm sure the fish there will get you clean. When there's too many fish in the lake, the crocodiles come and eat the fish. It's the circle of life at its finest. Pula! That'd be awesome! You're really special. Any eagle can swoop and stop. I have to admit, for someone your size, you're a surprisingly good hider. Bunga, your smell must be even scarier than a snake's. It's just how Bunga smells. He's always been a bit, uh, fragrant. If you ask me, I think Bunga smells fine just the way he is. Yeah. And in Bunga's case, he's a stinky little honey badger. Thanks, Uncle Timon. Best day ever. Oh, I agree. A terrific. It's even more awesome than awesome. Ah, yes. Old woes. <laughs> Pretty. Glad to be almost alive. Really? Gracias. This morning's eye opener is presented by it's Progressive. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Hmm. 
the greatest thing in sports. A game seven. In the Stanley Cup final. Unbelievable. Nobody saw that coming early. Nobody <laughs> saw it coming. It's going to be great on Monday night. No doubt about it. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Dana Jacobson. My name is Eduardo. Along with Jeff Glor and Michelle Miller. This morning, we're going to take you behind the wheel with some fresh faces in the world of Formula One racing. Tina Hausman is just one of the female drivers of the F1 Academy, a junior level developmental series that's paving the way for women to enter the high speed sport. We'll see how their work in the gym, in the simulators, and on the track may transform F1 racing in just a few short years. Then we'll go to Boston to speak with a man who's been working in the field of artificial intelligence longer than anyone alive. But what Ray Kurzweil has to say about our future in his new book will surprise and even inspire you. Our conversation later on. Then we'll take a trip to the English countryside for a meal with acclaimed chef Luke Farrell. But he's not serving up English classics, rather some of the most authentic and eye-watering Thai food. Find out why he is drawn to this style of cuisine later on in The Dish. Are you guys hungry? Yes! Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Yes! Yeah! A delicious carrot cake. You want to see? It was so delicious, I ate the whole thing. Almost. <laughs> now it's gone. Only the best food ever! Fresh fruit! <laughs> see, Captain? Pirate Swap Day has taught us something already. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll go to Portland, Oregon, to the home of Colin Malloy, frontman of the Decemberists. The beloved indie band has been making their unique blend of music for a quarter century and have just released their first new album in six years. We'll check out Colin's llamas, <laughs> talk about his other passion projects, and then get a performance from the full band in our Saturday session. That and so much more is all ahead. Oh, yeah, for sure. Me too. But we begin with this morning's top story, the intense heat wave producing searing temperatures across the country. More than 100 million people remain under excessive heat warnings and advisories this weekend. The weather has already led to record setting and record time temperatures from the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic. And more is on the way. In our nation's capital, it could peak with triple digit temperatures this weekend. That would be a first for D.C. in nearly eight years. Wow. 